Yes guys, welcome to a brand new video. Today, courtesy of footballboots.co.uk, I will be testing and reviewing the New Balance Vizaro Pro. Being one of New Balance's first ever pair of boots and being worn by the likes of Aaron Ramsey and Samir Nasu, I'm really excited to see what these boots have to offer. I'll start with probably the most important aspect of any football boot, the comfort. And to put it simply, the New Balance Vizaro performs brilliantly in this field. The upper is made from a material called Verizone Ariapri, a synthetic upper which offers a sock-like feel for the ball as well as brilliant comfort. The Vizaro also contains a fixed fresh foam sock liner which provides superior cushioning and relieves any possible stub pressure. With the material being fairly soft from right out of the box and the presence of the suede lining, I experience no discomfort or blisters wearing these boots at all. The synthetic upper is textured in this honeycomb pattern for the majority of the boot. This is to give extra friction between your foot and the ball for better control. On the instep, a low pressure zone is used. This is of the same material but is slightly thicker which provides extra cushioning for instant control of the ball. The upper itself has quite a waxy, sticky feel to it. This did improve control when playing in wet conditions but personally I don't like this feature as it feels quite plastic like and cheap. The Vizaros have quite a narrow fit to them. Luckily I don't have wide feet so the fit was fine on me, but if you have wide feet, maybe you should steer clear of these boots. In terms of sizing, I went half a size up from my usual size and found the fit in the length perfect. A TPU Super Flex sole plate is used which is very flexible and lightweight and offers great responsiveness on firm ground. The boots have a total of 13 moulded studs on each boot, 4 in the heel and 9 in the forefoot. The majority are triangular shaped which offer great traction, but present is a medial pivot zone which contains 4 rounded hexagonal studs to improve rotation and agility. I was very happy with how the stud plate performed and had no issues with slipping over or any stub pressure when testing the boots. In terms of durability, I have worn these boots for a total of about 10 hours now and can already see some sole separation occurring on my right boot, which is slightly disappointing. Considering the Vizaro is quite a thin, lightweight boot, the protection it offers is actually quite good. The textured upper is fairly cushioned, reducing impact should you get trod on. And in the heel, a synthetic leather material and internal heel counter is used which offers great stability and protection around the back of your foot. Performance wise, I was very impressed with the Vizaros. The slightly waxy upper did take a bit of time to get used to, but once I'd adapted, dribbling these boots felt great and a true feel for the ball was attained. Due to the thin upper, the touch you get on the ball is one of the best on the market. I liked the way the boot moulded to my foot and this only increased the feel and touch for the ball more. Striking the ball felt very nice in the Vizaros. I think being such a lightweight and soft boot, you get a very natural strike on the ball and I scored some of my best goals wearing these boots. Overall, I love how the Vizaro performs. They're quite a simple boot, but are very effective. I love how lightweight they are. I think they fit perfectly. They're extremely comfortable and are overall just really nice to play in. The only issue I had was the sole separation on the right boot, but this is the only downfall for me and I would rate the Vizaros a very strong 8.5 out of 10. That's it for my review of the New Balance Vizaro Pro. I hope you enjoyed. I want to say a big thank you to footballboots.co.uk giving me the chance to test and review these boots. Make sure you check them out, I'll put links in the description as well as annotations on the screen. Make sure you follow me on Instagram and Twitter to keep up with my channel and what I have coming for you guys. But yeah, until next time, see ya!